good playoff basketball. Um, you know, we gotta we gotta learn how to just uh, keep our composure and finish out games. But good playoff basketball from both sides. Um, yeah. Roman, how? Talk about your playoff debut and your 19 points in that quarter setting WB history. Just talk about that. Um, like you said, it's a playoff debut. So just coming out and setting the tone, not only for myself, but for my teammates. Uh, we feel like this is a new season, and so we can't come out soft. And that means I have to come out being aggressive, looking for shots. And they just happen to be falling in the first quarter. Uh, Coach Tyler DeLuca with the committee. I was curious, we had seen uh, a recent uptake with uh, Haley Jones minutes throughout the, the yeah. end of the season. Yeah. No playing time tonight. I just wanted to pick your brain what went into that decision. Just the flow of the game um, and the way things and the way things were going and the subs that were being made and stuff like that. Um, you know, it just happens like that sometimes. And then Ryan Leash, uh, for both of you, physicality of the game, I felt like there was a player getting knocked down every play. I know it's playoff basketball, but when you're trying to play through that, trying to weather these runs, how does that physicality come into play? Um, seems have been physical with us all year, so there's nothing that we haven't had to deal with for the last 40 games, um, but we just have to keep our composure better, um, especially me and Leach since they're coming for us, but we just have to be able to weather the storm a little bit better. Coach, was there a moment where you felt the game sort of slip away? Not necessarily slip away. I think I probably should have called the timeout during during their run um, in the first in the first half for sure. Um, but it was just our turnovers. We turned. They got aggressive. You know what I mean. They put Odyssey in to really pressure the basketball um, and try to try to make us run our stuff out. And they got got aggressive. Um, but I thought the third quarter we came out strong in the third quarter. Um, I thought fatigue might have set in a little bit, but um, in the fourth, but you know, our starters played 30 minutes. Their starters played 30 plus minutes as well. So, um, regardless of fatigue, like this, this is the playoffs. You can't worry about being tired. You got to be able to to weather it. You got to be able to fight through that and still be able to execute at a high level because it's just playoff basketball. You mentioned Odyssey. How big was her impact off the bench? Yeah, I thought she did a great job. Um, she, they they put her in to to pressure the basketball and to um, be disruptive. And I thought she did. She did a good job of being disruptive, forcing us um, to start our stuff um, further than we would want to, and being aggressive. Leash, you were really disrupting Dallas's offense all game with your defense. Just kind of talk about what goes into that for you mentally, and what you're hoping to continue with that in game two. Uh, I just say with me guarding the point guard, the biggest thing for me is to continue pressuring the ball to make them hard to get into the offense. So I mean that's. That's my biggest thing, continue to pressure the point guard to kind of speed them up and make uh, the passes harder so it takes them time to get into the offensive sets. Two more questions in the room. We'll go to Zoom. Uh, go ahead, Emmanuel. Oh, there was? Okay. Yeah, go ahead, Emmanuel. Hey, Coach. Uh, I know it's a tough loss, but being that this is a, a series, what did you like out of this game that you feel y'all can take into the second game on Tuesday? I thought our transition was pretty good. I thought um, early we rebounded the ball well, and we were able to get we were able to get out. I thought our ball movement in the first half was uh, first quarter was pretty good as well, and so we were able to get open shots. Um, I like Ryan's aggressiveness. She's absolutely right. Um, she has to be somebody who's being aggressive and looking for opportunities to score the basketball. Um, so I like that. Um, you know, there's there's things that we did that we did well. We got to keep our turnovers down, especially um, when we see them get a little bit more aggressive. We can't get rattled. Um, we can't get into it with the officials. I think that you know we focused on that a little bit too much as well. We'll jump to Michael. Michael, go ahead. Uh, yeah, this is for Ryan. Ryan, I know obviously you wanted to win this game, but tonight you became the youngest player um, to ever score. 30 points or more in a WNBA playoff game. You, you talked about wanting to be aggressive coming out, but how big was it for you? You know, how, I guess how much were you looking forward to finally having your, your playoff debut, and, and how do you feel like you can carry over tonight into game two? Um, I've been looking for the playoffs since around this time last year when we were one game out. Um, 
being the youngest player, I wasn't aware of that until just now. But I'm not look, I'm not here to look to break records in the game. I'm here to win. So, I mean, if that happens, then it happens. If it doesn't, as long as I come out and win, I really don't care. Thank you. And we'll go to Megan. Megan, go ahead. Hey, Coach. Hey, Ryan. Hey, Leash. Uh, Leash, this question is for you. What was it like, I guess, or what was going through your mind when you were watching Ryan out there hooping the way that she was? I mean, it was amazing. I mean, she's a bucket. Uh, She did what she was supposed to do. I mean, even when we were down, I mean, Ryan hit some big buckets for us. I mean, she's just an overall bucket. I mean, she did her thing tonight, so I was really proud proud of her. Awesome. Thanks so much. We'll do one more, Mark. Go ahead. Hey, y'all. T, I just wanted to ask about Theorem McCown tonight. It was huge, particularly on the offensive glass. Um, but on the defensive end as well, it felt like you guys were able to get into the paint, but she was obviously – Huge presence at the rim. What kind of things would you like to see um, to maybe try and remove some of what she can bring defensively? Uh, I, I thought actually we did a decent job of uh, McCowan um, up into the fourth quarter. I thought she got some O boards in the fourth quarter that really were backbreakers um, against us. But before that, I thought we did a decent job of trying to to neutralize her and make things tough for her um, um, offensively. I think I think defensively we got to keep looking to attack um, and get downhill. Uh, so off of our ball screen action stuff, um, we got to keep looking looking to attack. I think we need to draw her out. I think if Cheyenne would have made a couple shots early, we would have been able to draw her out a little bit more. Um, but I mean that's just the way it goes sometimes. Like CP took it. Like she has some good lo- looks um, at the rim for her. You know what I mean? Shots that she can make. And if she makes a couple of those, then we draw her out a little bit and we can get some more downhill attacks. Thank you, everyone, for your time. Thank you. Thank you.